Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Welcome. So tonight I wanted to do a quick ball python video on a gene that a lot of people hate. So this is the desert gene. This creates this beautiful morph which people were very excited about when it first started showing up in the hobby. However, some people got very upset when breeders started to realize that it was what people considered a dead-end gene because all the females were actually sterile. And so if you get a female ghost, oh, I'm sorry, if you buy a female desert and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to pair her with this, with that, she's going to throw these incredible babies. Well, she never will be able to reproduce. It's kind of like the spider debacle where people started saying nobody should be breeding them and nobody should be selling them. However, I ended up with this beautiful desert from a very reputable breeder who got into the project, was excited about it, and then it came to light that the desert females were actually sterile. And I happen to think that this male here was very beautiful and actually can reproduce because the males are not sterile. However, I would not breed him because I don't necessarily want to perpetuate a gene that has a mutation that's going to stop them from reproducing. However, I did want to point out that he is healthy, appears to be happy, and so I decided to actually get him and make him a performing snake. I think he's really beautiful, he's very personable, and I use him as one of my belly dancing snakes. Uh, he is a good educational tool. I do use him for educational presentations. And so he has been used to raise money in a fundraiser for our local Humane Society, and that money went directly into food for the dogs and the cats at our Humane Society and that he definitely is living the life. So this is my desert ball python. It's not a gene I would necessarily encourage anyone to invest in. However, I do not believe that they should be euthanized or that any deserts that are reproduced should be considered a garbage snake because number one, they could be sold to anyone as a quality pet snake. And as you can see, he's gonna live out a long, happy life as an educational and performing animal. That is my desert ball python. Go ahead and leave any questions or comments about the desert gene below. Let me know what you think about this project and what you think should be done with any desert ball pythons. Hope you guys like this one and I'll see you soon.